Hey guys, it's Max. Welcome back to another video. Um, this is, you know, I'm not even going to express it. This is uh, probably the most excited I've ever been for a video. And that is because we have something really incredible today. Um, this is the brand new 2020 iPad Pro. The new second generation um, Apple Pencil and the Smart Keyboard Folio for the fourth generation. Here it is. So this is the 256 gigabyte um, space gray uh, version, um, 11 inch, uh, the 11 inch size and Wi-Fi capability. And this is. Oh, I came right off. <sighs> there we go. Oh, this is really nice. Oh, look at that. That is really nice. So. Oh, instructions, I don't need instructions. Oh man. Oh, that feels nice. I'm be writing so many tweets, but I mean. And then this is the Apple Pencil out there. Designed by Apple in California. Oh, that's nice. So then that opens up like that and this one we're going to it just magnetically guides itself onto there and then there are does it make it on like that there it is oh nice okay and then there are in fact um two positions that you can have the ipad in one is uh like that almost 90 degrees and then the other one is more like that in case you have it sitting on a desk and you're higher up. And then this one just clicks on there and it charges. So we're going to let this thing set up. Wow, that's a really big Apple logo. Here we have our instructions. Oh, space gray Apple stickers. I don't know, just regular Apple stickers. Um, and then we have this, which is, I think this is 18 watt power adapter. And then the USB-C charging. Okay, give me a moment. Okay, I'm having a moment here. Don't. English. Um, so this is the USB-C charging cable plugs right in there okay so I'm gonna get this set up and we're going to take a look at everything it can do and we're going to give a little deep dive um, at how this works so I have been using the iPad for the past several days now and it is kind of just a whole different experience from the experience that you get with a laptop it is so incredibly powerful and um, just everything even just watching videos it's a whole different experience on this device first something that you may notice uh, when you get into the ipad is that there are in fact two cameras on this model there is a wide and an ultra wide well why would you need an ultra wide camera on your videos you do you, you just you just do let, let's let's test out the, the camera and um let, let's see how that works so right now I have um, all of the camera settings in just regular, regular camera. And I I'm, guess I'm going to take a photo of this. So when, you, when you're greeted in the camera app, you, um, you get greeted with this just regular one-time zoom camera, just the regular standard issue camera on the iPad and that you know it's a great camera that's a 12 megapixel camera and then there's a little button on the side that says 1x and then when you click that button 0.5x comes up 
and you take a photo like that. So the differences between these two photos are just incredible. This is a feature that was already on the iPhone 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max as well as the iPhone 11 and I think that is great that they've brought this to the iPad. So I just wanted to go over my LumaFusion workflow. So if you don't already know, LumaFusion is the editing platform on the iPad Pro. Um, it is a third party app, but it is the app that everybody uses um, when editing on the iPad Pro and for good reason. It is a fabulous program. And as far as I know, I'm taken from Mac and onto iPad Pro, which is, you know what, it's great. The new iPad Pro, um, in fact, supports trackpads. And I have, in the last few days, um, tried out a few different trackpads. And I really haven't liked the idea of using a trackpad in LumaFusion as much as I thought I would. Um, so right now, I am just in LumaFusion and the iPad Pro is usually what I use, but I'll also just use my finger and have my iPad Pro off to the side like that. And going through, making edits, making cuts. It is a really, really good um, uh, software to use. And it's so easy because I am a very fast editor. I am not, uh, doesn't take me more than two hours really to edit a 10 minute video, um, of which I have really had to do few. So. Um, I am an incredibly fast editor and being able to use touch and interacting with the screen in that way has been fabulous for editing. Um, and this is in fact the smaller 11 inch version which you probably heard in the unboxing. Um, and the reason for that is that I usually, I tend to go for the smaller phones, for the smaller iPads, the smaller computers, or you have to get the 12.9 inch if you'd like to really make this your computer replacement. But what I'm doing on my iPad Pro at the moment is online school, editing, and Photoshop, which are all incredible intuitive tasks on this device. And um, they all work just fine. And I really like the 11 inch screen because I can just take it right out of the keyboard and walk around my house with it and just wander around get the blood flowing while still editing on LumaFusion um, and maybe drawing in Procreate and even just taking notes in class with it. Um, this is not an iPad Pro for student review, but it is a really good device using Notability to um, take notes in class, to solve equations, and that way you also don't have to waste paper, which is a great thing. I mentioned the cameras, which they're fabulous. I mean, there's no, there's no denying that. It, they are fabulous cameras. But there is an opaque circle on the camera bump. And you can't really see it unless your lighting is perfect. H here, uh, l l let me show you. So that little opaque dot next to the wide and ultra wide cameras is called a LiDAR scanner. Now, LiDAR is technology used on NASA technology. Light, dete uh, light detection and reading is what it stands for. And it's not just good to look cool and to sound really good in the announcement, but what it's really good for is augmented reality. Now, I'm such a huge fan of augmented reality. It's basically taking the world you're living in and making it cooler, if that makes any sense. So the way it works is the LiDAR scanner is light detection and reading, which means that the LiDAR scanner does not detect colors or anything like that like a camera would, but rather it detects the light in the room and sends depth, which means that augmented reality is much better and much faster and more accurate which is a fabulous thing for them to bring here. Now, this is an all around great tablet, but can it replace your computer? I think absolutely yes. I mean, just look at it. It's basically a computer and using interactions like the Apple Pencil and just being able to 
scroll through and different gestures on the um, Apple Pencil totally make it a super easy everyday carry and that is why I am absolutely recommending the iPad Pro. Just this, 11 inches with an Apple Pencil on top, great battery life, incredible performance with six gigabytes of RAM on every model now, and 128 gigabytes base model, which is a great thing because 64 gigabytes, yeah. This can absolutely be your computer. Welcome to season two of my channel. I'm Max, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe below if you're not already. Like this video if you liked it. Comment below if you have any questions for me or if you'd just like to make your voice heard. Something we need now more than ever. I'll see you in the next one. And I'm gonna go take this and edit the rest of my videos forever on it.